Hey guys, welcome to third grade, chapter 11, lesson seven. We're gonna go ahead and get started by filling out the rest of this table. So you will notice that it says that the length of each one of these is two. So they did the length down, okay? Those are the two. So now we're gonna finish filling in the width. This one was one, this one was two. This one is one, two, three, four. This one is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, okay? So now, to find the area, you multiply these two numbers together. So two times one was two, two times two was four, two times four is eight, and two times eight is 16. So now our chart's filled out, okay? Find and describe the pattern of how the length changes. So the length changes every time it doubles. So the length doubles each time, or sorry, the width doubles. This is the width, not the length, okay? So the width doubles but the length stays the same. Okay, there we go. All right, how do the areas of the murals change when the width changes? Well, they're doubling two. Two times two is four. Four times two is eight. Eight times two is 16. So the area is also doubling. The area doubles. Okay, all right. I want you guys to try to do number four. Okay, all right, so keep trying, okay? All right, we're gonna go on to the back where you guys are gonna do the lesson check, just like always, and we're gonna go down and do the spiral review. It says, Joe, Jim, and Jack share 27 football cards equally. So, there are one, two, three guys, okay? Three times what equals 27? How many cards does each boy get? Well, three times nine is 27. So nine cards, okay? Nita uses one third of a carton of 12 eggs. So notice that these are already split into three. So it's already split into that three that we need. So if I need one third, then that is one, two, three, four, four eggs. That worked out nicely. Okay, Brenda made eight necklaces. Each necklace has 10 large beads. How many large beads does Brenda use to make the necklaces? Well, eight times 10, well that's just 80. 80 large beads. There we go. Neil is tiling his kitchen floor. Each square is one square foot. Neil uses six rows of tiles with nine tiles in each row. So we just have to do six times nine. Well, that's 54 square feet. You can put feet squared, or you can write out square feet, your choice. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out for 11.7. Come on back for 11.8. See you soon.